the West Indies has produced some of the greatest, quickest, and most intimidating pace bowlers the world has ever seen. Here are 20 speedsters that have given batsmen nightmares. Sir Wesley Hall, he played 48 test matches. He took 192 wickets. He could crank it up as fast as 91 miles per hour. One cricket historian declared, Wesley Hall had pace like fire that scuttled the, me the mental shock absorbers of many Indian batsmen. Such was his firepower that local men did not know what hit them. Sir Charlie Griffith, he played 28 test matches and took 94 wickets and he bowled about nine, around 92 miles per hour. Wisden reported Jake Contractor, the Indian captain playing against Barbados, was hit on the temple by a ball from Griffith and taken to hospital with a fractured skull. The fight for his life, which lasted several days, was successful. While Martin Chandler declared, further blood was spilled shortly afterwards when another Griffith bouncer broke Mandrake nose, causing him to retire hurt, having scored just two. Roy Gilchrist played 13 test matches and took 57 wickets. He could bowl as fast as 91 miles per hour. One cricket historian wrote of Gilchrist, Hall was fast and he used to mix his pace cleverly. Gilchrist was fast all the time and had tremendous stamina. Sir Andy Roberts played 47 test matches, took 202 wickets and could bowl as fast as 98 miles per hour. Sen Gupta recalled at Queen's Park Oval in 1977-78, to 78, Peter Tuohy had shaped to hook, rather we should say he had dared to. The ball had struck him on the forehead, just above the bridge of the nose, with a sound that still recurs in the worst nightmares of many who were on the ground that day. The batsman tottered, fell, and was held in the throes of unconsciousness in the strong arms of Viv Richards. Sengupta continued, How fast was he? Gordon Greenwich often wore a protective box while fielding to Roberts in the slips. Michael Holden played 60 test matches and took 249 wickets. He could bowl as fast as 97 to 98 miles per hour. Describing holding performance of the Oval in 1976, Tony Cozio said, The speed which he generated from his deceptive approach to the stumps was on occasions frightening. He proved that nothing could deter bowling of great pace and accuracy by taking 8 for 92 in the first innings and 6 for 57 in the second. No fewer than 12 of his 14 victims were either bold or LBW. An accurate reflection of his speed and his consistent line. Of all the great West Indian bowlers of the past, none had equaled his feet of 14 wickets in a test. Joel Garner played 58 test matches and took 259 wickets and he could bowl as fast as 88 miles per hour. A cricket journalist wrote, six feet and eight inches was the height and the pace behind his deliveries was like an express train. Yes, we have seen some fearsome fast bowlers over the years, but for sheer brutality, well, nobody even comes close to Ghana. Sen Gupta concurred when he said, he used to deliver from the heavens and facing him could be hell. Colin Croft played 27 test matches and took 125 wickets and could crank it up as fast as 97 miles per hour. 
one cricket expert recalled Croft hit opener Sadiq Mohammed on his forearm and forced him to retire hurt and then blew apart the Pakistanis in the next test at Port of Spain with figures of 8 for 29 bowling with ferocious pace Croft he angled the ball in at express pace it could well have been a toe crushing York Yorker or a menacing unsympathetic bouncer that the batsman often had issues fending off due to the uniqueness of the angle with his six six foot five frame strong and muscular shoulders chest on action and ruthless attitude Malcolm Marshall he played 81 test matches and took 376 wickets he could bowl as fast as 90 miles per hour. In describing Marshall, Wisden wrote, he allied sheer pace to consistent excellence for longer than anyone else. He was relentlessly professional and determined. Batsmen agree that Marshall was hardest of all to face because of the way he used his ordinary height to produce telling rather than exceptional bounce. Ben Dobson declares, when he dropped short of a length, he was never shy of doing that, especially from around the wicket. He produced deliveries that were as physically intimidating as anything the game has seen. Sylvester Clark played 11 test matches and took 42 wickets, and he is reported to have bowled between 98 to 101 miles per hour. Sir Vivian Richards said of Sylvester Clark, Sylvester Clark was the only bowler that I have ever felt uncomfortable facing. Speaking about the ferocity of Sylvester, John Hutton declared, Graham Gooch had his helmet split down the middle. Zaheer Abbas was struck so hard that his lady had an indentation as deep as half of the ball. David Gower had the padding and thumb guard ripped from his hand, along with most of his thumbnail. They ended up near third slip. Simon Hughes, hit on the head by the third ball he ever faced from Clark, wrote from the blessed safety of retirement that he had been left two millimeters of man-made fiber from death. Wayne Daniel played 10 test matches and took 36 wickets and he could bowl as fast as 94 miles per hour. Mike Selvey said of Daniel, when he began his run he would take a few small steps on the spot, snorting as a bull might paw the ground and then came a surging approach. A good leap into the crease a front arm thrust so high that he might have been grasping at clouds and a follow through in which his bowling arm all but grazed the ground. His default length was nasty, the sort that tickles ribs and he possessed that rare quality that really does encapsulate the term heavy ball. He continued by saying the Middlesex menace who did not know how to bowl slow. Sir Kurtley Ambrose played 98 test matches and took 405 wickets. He could bowl as fast as 88 to 90 miles per hour. Rohit Sankar said of Ambrose, he turned into a bowler who would crush the top of the batting lineup, hunt down the head and target the soft belly. In short, he did it all. He devoured batsmen for fun. He sucked in teams for fun. He didn't need to say a word. When the ball came at injury scaring pace from nearly 10 feet high, words were unimportant. A steer from Ambrose was a death knell for most batsmen. He continued by saying, his forte was unerring accuracy and disconcerting bounce off the surface. When unsung, he rolled over teams entirely. His spell against England at Kensington Oval, against Australia at the Wacker, 
against England at Port of Spain all showcased him in his most fiery avatar. Courtney Watch played 132 test matches and took 519 wickets and could bowl between 89 to 90 miles per hour. One writer wrote, in his hometown Kingston, Walsh bowled what has been described by many as one of the fiercest spells of hostile fast bowling against England. Though the figures read 3 for 67, his unbroken relentless two-hour spell battered Michael Arthurton on his Captain C debut. Former England and Gloucestershire wicketkeeper speaking about Walsh said, Opposition batsmen used to run into the ground in Bristol ready to get their pods on. They were that keen to face us. Once Courtney had arrived, they used to arrive looking like ghosts. Jack Russell continued, I don't know how he did it, really, because he didn't bowl medium pace, says Russell. It was quick or quicker with Courtney. His engine was brilliant. His tank was never empty, and he would always come up with something. Patrick Patterson played 28 test matches and took 93 wickets, and he could bowl between 98 and 99 miles per hour. Ian Botham said of Patterson, he was murderously quick and so raw, so full of hatred like Colin Croft and Sylvester Clark used to be. Peter Willy concurred when he said Patterson's ungainly style made him even more intimidating. He was all muscle and bustle, with none of Holden's elegance and little of Marshall's craft. He could, however, bowl faster than the lot of them. He continued by saying, None left an impression quite like, like Patterson. If people are bowling, 90 miles an hour now. Patterson must have been bowling 100 miles per hour in that game. Ian Bishop played 43 test matches and took 161 wickets and he could bowl as fast as 95 miles per hour. Sen Gupta recalled he fractured the forearm of Shrikant with a Sonata in 1989. Six and a half years later, he was still at it, breaking the jaw of the valiant Robin Simmet in the Old Trafford Test of 1995. He continued by saying he was yet another of those mean men of the Caribbean pace machinery who clutched the hearts of the best of batsmen with the cold hand of fear. Cameron Coffey played 15 test matches and took 43 wickets. He could bowl as fast as 93 miles per hour. Ramarad said of Kofi against India at Faridabad. And what a fine debut it turned out to be. By generating awkward bounce, bounce he made Indian batsmen hop and duck like a cat on a hot tin roof on a benign track. Jermaine Larson played 13 test matches and took 51 test wickets. He could bowl as fast as 95 miles per hour. Cricket writer recalled Australian tailenders were left with bruisers with Larson's peppering them with thunderbolts. He took a memorable hat-trick in the same series in the third test at Bridgetown. Fidel Edwards played 55 test matches and took 165 wickets. He could bowl as fast as 98 miles per hour. Steve Lynch wrote, His unusual action and slippery pace has troubled many a distinguished batsman. Tina Bess played 25 test matches and took 57 wickets. He could bowl as fast as 92 miles per hour. Speaking of Tino, Steve Lynch said he charges in confident and energetic and tries to bowl as fast as possible. He was capable of nudging the speed up over 90 miles per hour. Shannon Gabriel 
has thus far played 56 test matches and has taken 161 wickets. And he can bowl as fast as 92 miles per hour. Warris wrote of Shannon, this player has pace, real genuine pace, the kind of pace that will trouble players even on a dead and placid track. Kimar Roach has thus far played 73 test matches and has taken 252 wickets. In his earlier days, he could bowl as fast as 93 miles per hour. Shane Watson describing Kimar Roach against Australia said, It was very gladiatorial out there, the way Kimar Roach was taking on Ricky Pointing. Brydon Coverdale concurred when he said, Roach bowled to point in a short 146 kph delivery that thumped the batsman on the left elbow when he tried to evade it. <laughs>